Hey guys, welcome to another one of our videos. For those of you who don't already know us, we are Tiny Travel 2 and we are a family of four adults and two children who have been traveling the world full time since November 2019. Good morning. We're here in Chiang Mai today and we are doing something really, really cool. Uh, yeah, so each of us chose a bucket list item that we had to get done before going back to Australia and today we're completing the girls so yeah that's right so the girls ever since we started planning it was something they focused on a great deal was elephants they wanted to see elephants and um, we've chose while well in Chiang Mai or I guess prior it was always a focus for us to do it through one of the sanctuaries yeah right? so the idea is that we would take them to a place where they seen the elephants in a more of a natural way rather than doing an elephant ride where you know the elephants are being used in a way that is not you know nice I guess so we it was really important for us to take them to somewhere that they could actually see how the elephants lived and what they yeah. did each day so these sanctuaries they, they don't use the elephant hooks they don't allow you to ride um, it's all about experiencing them in a more natural sort of environment where they bathe and eat and, and, and I guess we also get to make food for them from what I understand. So Yeah, so we're gonna we've got a day tour booked in and we're gonna spend the entire day with the elephants. The girls are absolutely psyched to get it started and we're gonna take you guys along for the ride. We're currently on our way to the elephant sanctuary, but on the way they give you a little bit of a sneaky stop in a local village just outside the elephant sanctuary. They give you 20 minutes here. We left at 8 a.m. It's now currently about quarter to nine and they give you this opportunity so you can stop and have breakfast. So it's something to keep in mind if you're not one to eat a really early breakfast that you will be given an opportunity to grab, grab some local snacks. I love how when you go to the markets here they've got just Bain Marie dishes full of curries and you can go and get like a 40 baht curry, it's fantastic. You've got to stand right here because you can't smell it over there. So when we got our waffles, they were 20 baht per double. This one's coconut and they're still hot. She makes them fresh and they're really good. We've already had the current one. The coconut's good, but I probably prefer the current because I, I love currants, but really good, 20 baht. Feeding it to the elephants. 
arrived at the elephant sanctuary and we've had our quick briefing. We're heading over to the elephants now to give them their morning tea. We have six bags of sugar cane. These guys eat a lot. There's only two here and we have been informed they eat 120 kilos of food per day each and consume about 150 litres of water each. So we're going to give them morning tea and it's going to be pretty exciting, I think. One piece at a time and eat like a lady. And this one insists on everything you have in your hand. She puts it in her trunk. And you can see she keeps on dropping it. Not be the ridiculous meal and a five food, yeah. we decided to come to is called the Karen Hill Sanctuary, Elephant Sanctuary, and it's only been here for about six months and it was purely put in place for these two amazing creatures behind me. They've been here for six months, they were rescued from a logging camp where they would be used every day to take massive trees into the local community so that they could build houses and as the local people here have told me, it's okay for elephants to do that one or two times, but when it's done every single day, it does actually become dangerous for the elephants. They do get extremely tired, but where they are now, it is pure luxury. I thought that it was interesting that both of the elephants, they have individual leaders or humans that train them and work with them and spend the day with them. But when they're not here, their brothers come in and do the same kind of work and the elephants see them as the same kind of hierarchy or, and they're the only people that the elephants will fully listen to in any kind of situation. They will do a basic command of bun bun, which means you're gonna be fed, so open your mouth. They'll listen to that from anyone, but the only person that they will listen to when they're asked to move or to go and sit are these people that have been here since day dot, since they've been here and, you know, they're, they're family. So they organized for us to have the, the sanctuary to ourselves today. So it's really cool because we've pretty much been given free room. We got given a few rules that we weren't allowed to touch the back half of the elephant that we always had to be seen by them if we were close to them. But we can just walk around the property as much as we want and be with the elephants as much as we want for the entire day. And we don't have to be fighting anyone else for their attention. So it's really nice.
elephants are heading over to their bath now. So I think we're gonna go back and get changed and try to bath with them for a little bit. Creatures are so majestic. They've just we've just finished bathing them, which was an amazing experience. And I think we're heading back for lunch now, so we're gonna wash up and sit and have a lunch, and then we'll come back out and play. Mel, how's the food? Good. What did you have? Noodles. Noodles. This little fella, he's four months old and shouldn't be drinking milk, but all day, all we've seen him do is chase his mum around the property trying to get milk off her. She apparently has none left, so he's Obviously not the smartest puppy. Hey. So we just finished our lunch and we're leaving the elephant sanctuary now. But on our way back to Chiang Mai, they're going to take us by a waterfall that's apparently pretty beautiful. So we're excited to do that. Money. Money. So to end our day, we're about to go check out the local waterfall. I can hear it already. Apparently the water's really refreshing. I don't think I'm going to go swimming though because it's a little bit chilly today. a nice little rock to perch myself on at this waterfall and I think I'm just going to sit here for a little bit and just enjoy the peace of the waterfall people are swimming I mean the crazies are swimming because it's pretty cold here at the moment but if you come in the water months definitely bring your swimmers along and enjoy having a swim
Okay guys, that's it for us today. We had such an amazing day with the elephants, swimming with them and feeding them. We did our tour with the Karen Hill Tribe Elephant Sanctuary and we would definitely recommend to use them. I will put the link below, but remember to hit that like button if you liked our video and remember to subscribe, hit the button below and we'll catch you next time.